What's happening, guys? Today we got Galatasaray um, versus Lazio. And the reason we got that is um, uh, Fernando Musilera, the uh, uh, starting uh, Uruguayan international goalkeeper, is leaving Lazio after contract negotiations broke down. Uh, two weeks ago, and is headed for Galatasaray on a deal that lasts through the year 2016, and he is set to earn, I believe, 2.4 million a year there in Galatasaray. So uh, he stated that uh, contract negotiations broke down at Lazio, and that uh, Galatasaray were the most insistent, persistent club. Um, he had plenty of offers from different clubs in Spain but um he said they were the most persistent and he's going to Turkey to win so yeah that's a, his thoughts um and I told you a lot of you guys earlier whoever saw my video um of Galatasaray versus Bolton where it was uh, Galatasaray swooped in for um uh, for uh, Johan Elmander, that um, that this wouldn't be that Johan Elmander wouldn't be the last signing that Galatasaray would make, and I think considering the the owners there, um, they can uh, they have the money to spend. Um, I believe they didn't spend too much for Mosler or he came in free. I don't quite know the negotiations between the two clubs or how whatever happened and maybe it was free I don't know that but um I just know that I told you guys this wouldn't be the last signing that they would make and I told you that for a couple of reasons I told uh, I thought um uh, when Galatasaray made its uh, made its initial bid for Didier Drogba back um, about three weeks ago that they, or two weeks ago is more like it, that they, uh, were looking to spend this summer. They just finished eighth, um, in the Turkish League, which is not too good for them. It's not, no, it wasn't good for them, period. But, um, it's, uh, I told you, I thought that I, uh, that Galatasaray was now willing to spend the money necessary to uh, to win, uh, frankly. And they've uh, this Turkish teams have always been like that. They pick up the rejects. Not, not he Musler is not necessarily a reject in this position, like Johan Elmander was. I mean, Bolton didn't want him around anymore. But um, he's. Mosler is not really a reject. He was just someone who was running out of contract, and they saw the opportunity and took it. Um, I guess it, it, it's a good sign. He's better than a the goalkeeper they have now. Obviously, he's younger. Um, I don't know how old he is. 20, 20 something, I believe. Twenty four. I want to say. And if I'm wrong on that, I'm sorry. But um, that's. I think that's how old he is. But um that yeah but um younger goalkeeper more talented uh from what i've been for what i've seen he was all right during the world cup he he's not too good with crosses that come in really um and he lets some cheeky little things in um but uh, he's all right i guess but he's a step up from uh what galatasaray have now and uh, as I said um, in my latest video, that the or my last Galatasaray video, that this would not be their last, uh, that uh, Johan Elmander would not be their last named signing. And what I mean by named signing is names you hear quite a bit, um, or names you've most certainly heard before. And um, and then they come up with Fernando Musilera which if you watch the World Cup then this guy's came this guy's name came out quite a bit considering 
uh, Uruguay's run to the semifinals during that time. That uh, then his name came up and he made some mistakes. I um, I pretty much blamed him for the Netherlands game when they when they lost to the Netherlands. He couldn't couldn't deal with crosses. He couldn't pick. Uh, he couldn't uh, handle simple. Uh, simple long shots. Um, they were parrying all over the place, and not enough catch, in my opinion. But um, as I said, his name came up quite a bit, and I still don't think Galatasaray are quite done spending money. I think that um, the owners there want to bring back uh, Galatasaray's, you know, usual, usual. Uh, success and uh, buying players um, helps obviously um, and normally having a stable goalkeeper at the back is uh, a good first step most times I would think but um but uh yeah, they picked up Elmander they've picked up Musilera and I don't think that's the last they're noise they're gonna make this summer uh, not I don't necessarily they're not gonna make a big noise they're not gonna go and sign someone like Vandervart or you know names that people are talking about quite a bit now Mata I guess um, you know Sanchez from Uniz, uh those kind of players they're not gonna pick those kind of things up but they will pick up little scraps that people leave out those players that people think of as good decent or whatever and they're coming off contracts or whatever and Galatasaray is the team that will kind of swoop in and you don't you don't hear too much about it in these tabloid papers because um, Turkish teams don't make the English papers too much they don't make the French papers they don't make the Spanish papers they don't make these Italian papers they don't make these um, big named tab like, um, when I say papers I mean any kind of um, tabloid, uh, something you read about, like, um, goal.com, I, I, I'm talking things like that, and they don't show up too much on places like that, and, uh, not necessarily because the Turkish league is a small league, but because you get, ooh, hit the post, um, it's, a. Uh, it's just because, Turkish teams aren't in the level of teams you say Spain, Italy, England, those kind of teams, Germany, but um, they're normally not grouped together. When you think of large English clubs or whatever, or not large English clubs, when you think of large clubs, you think of the Inter Milans, you think of the Barcelonas, you think of the Uniteds. You don't really think Galatasaray or seek this, really. No. I mean, that's no disrespect on them, but that's more like how it is. But um, that's it, guys. So, uh, uh, Musilera to Galatasaray.